Ready? Okay guys, welcome back to the YouTube weekly series. So this week we've got Isaac in the seat. Isaac is one of our educators here at the Academy and also one of our senior stylists from the salon. This week we're going to be focused more on clipper work in my video. We've done a lot of videos around mid-length to long hair over the last couple of weeks and I've seen a lot of requests coming in for shorter, sharper, stronger haircuts. So we're going to be working on a zero taper today with a really cool kind of half crop, half quiff style to the top. Um, so yeah, guys stay tuned, I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Yeah. So slim these in, nice and compact, nice square shape, okay? Yeah. Keep this nice and messy, quite loose towards the front. Yeah. Then have the strength on the corners of the fringe. Lovely. Okay, and then nice kind of low skin taper to bring the fresh appeal. Yeah. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. yeah. The main thing that I'm going to focus on here really is just this belt of weight, okay? So, as we can see, the weight begins lower than where we would expect to have the weight beginning. So we're going to remove some of this, tidy up the shape, okay? And allow this to be kind of the main point of weight, yeah. okay? So we know now that everything above there is to be layered and everything beneath that is to be graduated, okay? All we're gonna do is start off by just kind of almost fixing what's going on here at the crown. So the idea here is to keep all of this length because we don't want to cut that, it's almost a bit short. And what we want to do is just blend all this excess weight beneath the crown up into that existing weight. most of that weight in the crown for the most part. Now moving to the sides. Same as always, we're just gonna slim that weight in right along the contour. Okay, as we can see, there's not really much weight above the contour. There's actually more weight below the contour. So see all of this weight here where the head's flat? Ideally, we just want all of that to be slimmed in. Okay, so guys, when we think about how this fringe wants to lay, we said that we want it to lay naturally, quite a lot of movement, okay? We don't want any massive volume here, we want everything to sit quite relaxed. So shape-wise, we've got dense hair. Ideally, we don't need an extension of length, we can actually reduce some of that length and weight in a round shape, and that will actually help that hair to just sit and nestle here towards the front, okay? So what we're going to do is lift up that corner and that very small corner that exists, we're going to just remove that there. Look. It's not much, but even the smallest change of shape here will affect the overall style and improve it. All we're doing here is just slimming down any of that excess weight at the front to allow the hair to sit as naturally as possible in that front zone. There's the new section, there's the guide. Last section on the fringe. Carrying the guide over.
I was with cutting hair still. It's it stays, you look. It's not about quantity, bro. It's the quality. It's the quality.